Hey you guys, today I'm going to do a regular My Random My Ghetto Views video where I talk about things that's in the news, on the blogs, you know, hot topics that people want my opinions about, and that's what I'm going to give you. So I don't want nobody that's new to my channel um, going off on me about my opinion. Everybody's entitled to there, so just leave your opinions in the comment section. Just don't be disrespectful. Um, there has been a lot going on since... I haven't done a My Ghetto, a Ghetto Views video, and I know, like, people wanted me to talk about the whole gorilla and the little boy getting, um, falling into the little pit or whatever at the zoo, and the gorilla getting shot. I had so many mixed emotions for that whole situation. I think it was sad that the monkey, gorilla, whatever, um... I'm looking for some notes. But I, it was sad that, you know, it got killed or whatever. But at the same time, me being a parent, <clears throat> gorilla had to go. I'm just saying. I'm just like this. I'm a mama first. And I'll try to probably talk shit later. But if my baby falls, I falls. I was a little surprised because, you know, bitch, I don't care. Some We all going up in that goddamn, where is my stuff? Um, we all going in that pit, like, to get that. But I do understand that they didn't want to spook the gorilla or whatever, so they had to take it down. And like I said, um, I totally get it. I totally understand it. I didn't understand that part. Oh, but I totally get it and all that kind of stuff. What I don't get is all these dumb ass memes about the funerals and just making a joke about the situation. Um, I did hear that the mother, the parents, was not going to get charged, which I thought is a good thing. They don't need to be charged. They already went through a traumatizing experience and stuff like that. But we have to, you know, really look. Um, and keep an eye on our kids. We really have to keep an eye on our kids. I, that I cannot. It stressed that enough. Whether it's the zoo, whether it's the mall, Walmart, you have to keep an eye on your kids. And if you know your kids is runners and always doing something, I'm sorry, black people. Y'all don't like to get them leashes for them kids, but fuck that. When you got kids like that, they need those leashes if you don't want to keep an eye on them. I'm just saying, like, or if you don't want to get charged for neglect or on some shit. Because y'all know we don't get the same... Uh, shit that the white kids get. I mean, I ain't no shade to white people, but I'm just saying, we are not going to get the same thing. When white kids go missing, they get fucked up like this, they will make an uproar about it, kill the motherfucking gorilla, whatever. But when it's us, you know, they try to take our kids for any little thing. So we just have to be very, very aware of that situation. Um... And I don't know how I started with this damn monkey. What up, gorilla? I know y'all gonna try to correct me. But um, I don't know how I started with that without starting with rest in peace to Muhammad Ali. Um, he died a couple of days ago. And it was sad. When I first heard um, everybody talking about he was on life support and stuff, I just kept saying, watch in the morning by the time I wake up. They're going to say that, you know, I'm going to see rest in peace on my down, down timeline. But before I can even go to bed, it was down my timeline. And I was just like, wow. In the, same, in, in the sense, you'd be like, oh, that's so sad. But in a sense, you'd be like... He's not suffering anymore. I know we all wanted him here. I know his parent, um, his kids and family wanted him here, but he's not suffering anymore. You know what I'm saying? And when he was going through that, why well, I didn't speak on it the day he died, because my own grandmother was going through her own situation, medical scare, and you know, and I know y'all like, damn, that's fucked up for to say, well, he's not in pain anymore, but you over there asking for prayer and all that for your grandmama. But my grandmother ain't wasn't as sick as um Muhammad Ali was. Yeah, my grandmother just suffered like three, probably four, you know, they don't tell me everything because they know how I am in my family. But she has suffered three strokes within a week. My, if mind you, while she's in the hospital, my other, my auntie, her daughter, was on life support. Um, they had put her on a vent breathing ventilator or whatever. At the same time, my granny was going through this, and thank God, thank God, thank God, that both of them is doing 
better. My auntie is off the breathing ventilator. My granny is at home trying to, her ass is trying to get the bingo, y'all. If y'all know me and been rocking with me, y'all know my family and they bingo. And my granny is trying to go to bingo Thursday for her birthday. And when, you know, a little bit of me be like, granny, go sit your ass down and rest. But at the same time, I'm like, enjoy and celebrate your life at the same time. So, you know, I understand when you want to keep your family here as long as possible. But like I said, with Muhammad Ali's case, you just knew he was sick. You knew he was suffering and he's just not suffering anymore. He was so, like, well-respected in the black community. He has fought for a lot of our rights. He has fought for a lot of us to, you know, do certain things. He fought, paved the way for a lot of boxers like Roy Jones Jr., Mike uh, Tyson, you know, stuff like that, Sugar Ray Leonard. He had paved the way for those kind of boxers in the black community. So he's always going to be well respected. His daughter is always going to be well respected. And that's, and that, and I like how the media is not trying to go at him. Like they have been going at after our other African American celebrities and stuff like that. And I'm glad that they're not going after him because I'm telling y'all, y'all thought, Hmm, I'm just saying, we going to go off on one of you motherfucking Fox News motherfuckers in a minute. Y'all keep on trying to bash our good people. I'm just saying. Um, speaking of good people that they're bashing is Prince. They said he over he died of an overdose. And I'm sitting there like, okay, your point is what? Oh, okay, he's gone. Let him rest in peace. Get over it. Like, why are y'all still dra trying to drag his name in the dirt of how he died? Like... If his family got closure of how he died, stop trying to bash him when he did a drug overdose. I'm quite sure a lot of you motherfucking people that's just going, trying to bash him, have crackheads in y'all family. Like, stop trying to dog this man and try to kill his legacy on a drug overdose. He is Prince. He is a musical legend, and that's how we're going to keep prince's name we're not gonna keep on going that he was a drug addict oh fucking well i have a lot of drug addicts in my family we love ju them just the same as we love prince so i i just don't understand why people be trying to go after people when they're already dead like oh my god why do they family have to endure that let them grieve and stuff like that no, nobody want to cut on a tv and you bashing their father, their uncle, their whatever the, the person is. Nobody wants to do that. Especially when you motherfuckers didn't bash Amy Winehouse and Brittany Murphy. And we know they ass was on drugs. like, But we just keep brushing that under the rug like it's okay. We, no, I, I just didn't understand the whole situation. Um, Speaking of some more, let me just go on and keep on going. A lot of people wanted me to talk about Jocelyn and Stevie J, and maybe you should watch my Love and Hip Hop reviews, because I feel like both of them do a lot of this shit for show. They going back and forth, back and forth, or if he a loose booty, if she on drugs. She said that she likes to get high on the show, so him saying that he don't want to get high and she wants to get high, you knew that. Um, but... Both of them trying to tear each other down is ridiculous. It's ridiculous because I'm like, both but both of y'all was good enough to fucking lie to everybody and act like y'all was in such this loving relationship and all the kind of stuff. Nobody cares. It's like it just makes both of you guys look bad. Period. It makes Jocelyn look not grateful for CVJ putting her on and all that kind of stuff. But then, at the same time, like, bitch ain't tied down no more to Stevie J. Stevie J has hindered her into probably even becoming bigger than what she is now. I'm not saying she's bigger because of her talent. But Jocelyn is known. I don't care what nobody say. I, I'm not her biggest fan this season. But she's known. And I think... Stevie have hindered her, and now that she knows that that contract is not, you know, what he say it is, she's doing, she's moving, she's making moves, he ain't liking it, She ain't. he ain't liking that he's left out on the whole making moves situation, so they both playing tit for tat. He say something about her, y'all think Jocelyn gonna keep her mouth closed? Hell fuck no, she's gonna say something back. So, I just think they both need to get their shit together. I think it's off the show, and who cares? Um, 
Waka and Tammy broke up. It just be funny how it happens. Like, it always happens. Something come out the day after somebody and watched the episode. Now, and all of a sudden, oh, they broke up. Nobody cared when they were together. <laughs> if you really want to know, nobody cared if they were together. He cheated on her before the marriage, during the marriage. Nobody cares. It wasn't like they were no black power couple. And, I mean, no shade to them being, you know, a couple. But they weren't a black couple that everybody looked up to. Um... I know it's been a while because I haven't talked about Tyga and Kylie breaking up, but I didn't care about them either. I know it's going to be a lot of backlash when, when it comes to them, too, because both of them don't know how to say off of social media. Both, uh, She said that he owed her money. Bull to the shit. Bitch, you knew what you was doing when you were investing and all that other kind of shit when it came to Tiger. So don't try to now that y'all broke up, you want your money back. Because I don't feel sorry for her because if it was the other way around, would we say uh, Kylie pay Tiger his money back? We wouldn't say that. We would be like, nigga, you gave her money in y'all relationship and now keep it pushing. And that's the same thing I'm going to say with Kylie. Um, What else didn't happen? The whole Tamar, you know, I'm happy that she got to deal with Steve Harvey. Um, I'm going, I support Tamar. I'm happy for her. A lot of people want me to bash her and me to, you know, talk shit about her. But I like Tamar. I have no problems with her. I wish her nothing but success. Um, if she is going to do a deal with Steve Harvey, I wish her nothing but the best. I really, really do. Um, like I said, she never done nothing to me, so... I don't have no problems with her. I have now. Um, I I don't think it's nothing else that I want to talk about. But if it is, shit, I might come back. Um, I'm trying to look in my things, but it's not really too much I really care about. So I'm gonna just go and get into the shows that I have been watching. Look, look. I tried to watch Roots. I even got far up into the second episode. But that is just not a show for me. It's just not. A lot of people are going off on black people for not watching this show. But it's just not a show for me. Never been a show for me. I didn't too much care for the first Roots. I'm sure not going to care about the uh, remake of Roots. I'm just sorry. Um, the whole movie, I'm just sitting there like, y'all might was pumping pumped up about Kunta, but I just wanted him to sit his motherfucking ass down and stop running. I'm like, you over there making shit worse for the other fucking people. I understand that you, your name means something to you, but I'm just sorry. I'd rather be the motherfucker to tell the story than be the one that be the story. So, you know, a lot of shit he was going through, I was like, fuck, just be quiet. Fuck, stop running. Fuck, like, think of a game plan. Because the game plan that he thought about on that ship, I was just like, oh, it was a good game plan. But, boo, boo, they had guns. I'm, I'm just saying. And I wouldn't have been a motherfucker at the front of the line because they always get picked off first. I'm just saying. But, you know, to each his own that want to watch the movie Roots, but I'm just saying stop going off on the black people that don't want to watch it because i think that's not right my grandmother is not watching that my kids great grandmother is not watching that like you don't understand what that is doing to these older people and, and then i feel like we got so much going on in the world that i don't feel like this is a time for this movie and then we still got white kids watching stuff like this and then having this mindset that they still superior than us. Or, you know, oh, look, um, especially down south, people, them kids still feel like they superior than black kids. So, you know, that one is hard to watch being with these kids and their mindsets today and not understanding and listening to older people that these young people won't even get it they just see them the how white people did black people and now they angry all over again so it's it's a lot with that show that i just it just ain't for me it just is not for me you know what shows are for me i've been watching the 100 i finally got caught up on the show 100 and i am so here for it that is my goddamn show I can't wait to season four come back out. If y'all have not watched the 100, 
it is really good octavia is my girl i was so hurt when they killed link up in that goddamn oh because i love me some link too but octavia was my girl is that name clark that bitch could have died clark mama really could have died um but yeah i love the 100 I'm getting caught up on Person of Interest right now. I'm on Season 5 getting caught up on that. And I'm loving Person of Interest. Um, what else have I been watching? Law and Order. <laughs> My kids been having me in watching just... I've caught up on all of Law and Order. But we be watching Law and Order going back like that shit just came out. And we be watching it like it's our first time watching it. I'm just saying. Um... Is there another show that I've been watching besides the 100? And I think that's it. I've been so st I was so stuck on the 100. Y'all don't even know. But uh, oh, oh, oh my God! What's the name of that show? Second Chance. I think it come on Fox. And oh, that show was so good. My sister had got me all up into that show. It was so so good. Second chance on Fox. I think I'm gonna start Wayward Pines season two. I did see season one, so I'm gonna start Wayward Pines. Um, but yeah, them the shows. But Second Chance was really really good. It was about a cop that they brought back to life, and you know, it was really good. You just have to watch it because he he was brought back to life to help. A cancer patient and it was really good so if y'all watching that let me know but um yeah that's it I just want to give you guys a video you know what I'm saying because I have been really slacking on you know giving you guys videos I've really been going through a lot of things but I I like to talk to my subscribers I like for them to talk to me back and me not doing videos I be missing y'all like crazy I be missing my my people's like crazy um, I'm sorry I will not be able to make the blackout. Like, it's killing me that I won't be at the blackout. Y'all don't know how bad it's killing me that I won't be there. But, um, if you're here in Las Vegas on the 4th of July, I'm going to the Cardi B and Friends concert. It's going to be, they was going to have it at the Craig Branch Park, but it's going to be at the Boulevard Mall this year. And if you come in... Make sure you bring lots of sunscreen, a chair, an umbrella, because it has been hot here in Vegas. Yesterday, it was 112, I think it got up to. Today, it's 100 and something. Tomorrow, it's going to be worse. Like, we have been like, having excessive warnings for this heat. So, if you come to Vegas any time this summer, be prepared. It's going to be over 110 degrees. So, be prepared. But, yeah. Next Saturday, July the, I mean, June the 11th will be the main event in Atlanta with um, Justin J and Adrian Expressions. If you're in the Atlanta area, make sure you're going to check out my booze. Have fun. Turn up to me. If you're going to the Blackout, July 15th um, for the Six Flags, July 16th for the Blackout, turn up for me. Have fun. Oh, that just hurt my heart just to say that. Um, Stop, boy. Sorry, my kid's home for the summer. Um, October the, I want to say it's the 16th, 17th. Let me get the dates right, and I'll put them in the description. But the Las Vegas Soiree with uh, Sayshine Bradley and James Carwell, that will be here. Um, but like I said, 4th of July, Cardi B and Friends. I'm not sure exactly who all on the lineup, but I am a Cardi B fan when it comes to her music, so I'll be there. And uh, It's for kids all ages, so... Um, the tickets are only $20, so if you guys are in the area and you got your kids, they can come. I'm trying to see if kids under a certain age will be free, so I'll let you guys know as they get closer because I'm in talks with the DJ for that. Um, so I'll let you guys know. Tomorrow I will be having up my support Tuesdays because it's a few people that I want to support. So I will have that video up. Um... Yeah, and I, I, I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get better with uploading my videos, but just keep praying for me that my situation gets better. It's not better. It's nowhere near better. But um, I just try to keep positive with everything, everything that I'm going through, and I want you guys to do the same. And follow me on all social media sites by the ghetto of U-T-H-A, not T-H-E, if I remember some more topics and my kids let me uh do a video, I'll be back. All right, you guys. Talk to y'all later. Peace out.